Hey guys, welcome to the Friday Fat Quarter Shop live stream. Um, I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel, click the little bell to get notified when I have a video so you can join me. Um, I love all that. Um, so today we're gonna go about 50 minutes. We're gonna go about 10 minutes short because um, I have um, lots of stuff to do today. Uh, but I have a ton of stuff to show you guys. Super excited about a lot of free stuff we have for you guys, a lot of new stuff. Um, so I'm going to do questions at the end, but I wanted to give a big shout out to all the moms out there and have a good Mother's Day. I'm going to Mother's Day dinner tonight because I have dance all weekend and um, maybe baseball. The baseball keeps getting changed because it's been raining like crazy. So um, I don't have time for myself except for tonight. Um, but we have this new thing for Mother's Day as for all our mothers out there. It's a free pattern. It's on our blog. The link is in the description. And so we made some little eye masks. I mean, obviously, you have to take your glasses off. So you can like sleep with them. So we made some, uh, lots of different options. You could make it with no beads, no stuffing, which is probably what I would prefer. This is Lollipop Garden by Layla Boutique and Cody made these. And then we made a couple, some with like walnut shells and some with poly beads. And all this information is on our blog. And this is just elastic, a little bit thicker elastic. I think it's one and a half inches. And these are also um, lollipop garden. So this is like a little free tutorial for Mother's Day. And then we made some from different collections. Lily made this one. This is Flower Child by Art Gallery. And then somehow she has eyelashes. What did you do? Oh, she glued eyelashes on there. It's heat and bond. Oh, it's part like, of the tutorial. Oh, it's part of the tutorial, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, she has her own eyes. Lily is special. <laughs> and then Cheryl made one sheep, two sheep. She's creative. But yeah, everybody asked me if I would wear these, and I don't know if I would wear them because at night I sleep with headphones on. I actually am to where I cannot sleep if my headphones are not on. Um, so I don't know if I could manage like headphones and an eye mask, um, but I listen to all kinds of crazy stuff in the middle of the night and then I wake up and then I'm like, oh, I'm hearing about Kim Kardashian. Let me go back to sleep. I listened to one the other day about her. So that's our Mother's Day gift to you. And then one new thing that we, we have this week is we have this new Farm Sweet Farm Box. It's custom made for us. It's only available at Fat Quarter Shop. And it's super cute, so you can see the inside. We're gonna zoom in. And Lori designed it just for us. And um, you could put the little recipe cards that she has in here. And they're sold separately. But you could use it in your kitchen. You could do it with Stitch Mania by putting um, thread choices, or you could put it with your quilt blocks. Um, you know, when she does her farm, uh, her vintage block along you could like write your instructions here um, before you start there's little dividers so all kinds of things with this and as a giveaway today if you will comment we're gonna give away one on Facebook and one on YouTube and if y'all comment and say what your favorite quilt from her brand new farm girl vintage 2 book is um, from last week's live stream you will be entered to win and we will um, list uh, the winners at the end of today like later today I don't have like a specific time but that would be awesome because then we can know like what um, you guys are liking um, we love feedback and I love this box it is so cute it's really nice quality too and it's got a little girl on the back that's coming home with me and then also I wanted to give a huge shout out thank you to Threadology uh, Make a Wish. We have raised twenty thousand dollars and confetti can for that. Moda's gonna donate ten thousand and we're gonna give ten thousand so we have raised over forty thousand dollars and that is amazing from a small little company with like quilting fabric. Like that is amazing and uh, I hope it makes you feel if you contributed um, even if you gave a dollar like like a good person like so awesome. And so as we were raising the $20,000, we were giving out free patterns because the Threadology, what it is, is free quilt pattern for the front and the back. And all of that is on our blog. The very last post will go June 15th, I believe. And for our last, um, our last one, we have a setting four and Nova sewed this. And this is what the pattern looks like. And you can find it on our blog or in the link below. It's a free pattern. 
and it uses you can put any six inch or 12 inch block in from the Threadology and this is the table runner and oh my gosh this is so cute it's like the perfect size so we don't have it quilted yet obviously um, but it looks great um, I love Nova's choices these obviously these little pink fabrics are the blocks from Threadology but you could put any of the six inch or any of the 12 inch and you could do different six inch different 12 inch you could put five different blocks but it's a great table runner size. It would be a great Mother's Day gift. It would be great um, anything. But this is our another thank you because the you know for the the money that we're raising that goes directly to Make a Wish, we try to give you some extra stuff. So that's another extra thing we have. It's so pretty. Oh, uh, to enter the giveaway or the comment, Gabriel said. Do you want the comment in the live chat or the comments later to enter? And it would be, you have to wait after the live chat is over and put it in the comments. That makes sense. So we also are um, sewing along with our two color quilt. So Vintage Christmas by Lori Holt. In her book, she has a two color quilt section. It looks like this. And so in her book, she gives you eight varieties. I'm just gonna kind of flip through really fast. She's got red. She's got all these colors. And so what we wanted to do was kind of take you through and if you wanted to do, um, we're doing a different, it's the same setting, but adding more blocks and doing something different. So we're having a sew along, everything's on our blog. And these are these week's blocks so you can see in person. Um, this is by Deborah, and it's obviously the yellow, and these are all Riley Blake fabrics. Um, this is week six, and it's the Christmas star block, and there's nine blocks total. This is the red, and this is made by Terry. The nutmeg Cheryl made. The green lily made. The sea glass Nancy made. Oops. The aqua Kate made. And the pink Denise made. And I made this entire quilt in denim and I showed it on a previous live stream. So uh, maybe next time we do uh, this, I can show you my quilt again. It's hanging in Kevin's office. Um, but I wanted to just show you how when we produce a product, we don't just give it to you and sell it to you. We wanna do different things with it, mix it up, show you different ways to use things, always be creative, you know, um, use what you have basically. So these are our beautiful blocks. I'm gonna put them right here. And the Vintage Christmas book, Vintage Christmas 2 book is just as awesome as this. It's got, it's beautiful. Um, another thing we wanted to show you because we always like to show you how you can do things different is we have our cream and sugar book. It, you, it features the cream and, um, it features the Sonoma collection by Andover, which is, you know, creams and browns and it's a sampler-ish type quilt. And I sewed the one on the cover the block of the month is sold out, but I wanted to show you how, if you wanted to make it different, like if you just wanted to totally step out of the box, you could make this quilt and do something really bright. And what Crystal has done is she did Pinkerville and Allison Glass, which mix really well together. And so we just wanted to show you that you can take something totally traditional and make it your own. Um, you could do it with any fabric collection and it's really just a scrappy quilt. It's something that could this quilt you could just totally just bust your stash. So um, love that. And then I wanted to show you we have a new free block pattern called Rocket Star. It's a classic and vintage quilt and Denise made it.
And so this is the quilt. The block pattern is free. Again, it is called Rocket Star. And if you wanted to make it into a quilt, we have a very low price pattern that's a PDF on our site right now. This is using the Nova Collection by Basic Gray and Moda. And there's a video. And there's a video, and there's a quilt kit, and there's a backing set. And the one thing that you do need to use it is um, the Starbrush 30 degree ruler, which we've used a lot. Um, so a lot of you probably already have it because we've done several videos with it. Um, so it's the Starburst Creative Grids Ruler and it was designed by um, It's So Emma, which is, which is us also. Um, so that's also like a free block. Like if you have this ruler, you have some fabric already in your stash and you just want to download something for the weekend, you want to make a quick Mother's Day gift, you can make this. Um, it's really cool because you trim the blocks down to get an accurate result and then you get a block that, um, I always love to make something bigger and trim it down because it's kind of like cheating. Um, so there's that. Oh my gosh, we have so much stuff, I'm so excited. So um, we had started the year with So Colorful and we have a pattern um, that goes with it, and I can't, it's called, I can't remember what it's called. It's by Corey Yoder. It's so colorful, and um, it's a PDF pattern that you can buy. You don't have to buy it, but we had a club. And we started in January, and January was cream, and January is now sold out. Be but we have a ton of low, if you just search low volume on Fat Quarter Shop, you're going to see lots of, lots of, um, backgrounds that would work. There's a new line from Robert Kaufman called Outside the Lines or something like that. It's a new background fabric. If you just go to Robert Kaufman new, there's a lot of good backgrounds out there. Um, but February was pink, March was green, and, and um, April was aqua. No, aqu April was gray. This is going to be May, and this is blues, and so, oh, it's spools, something spools. So I'm taking this home today. I'm going to be starching my fabrics. I have dance all weekend, so I can't sew. Um, one of the reasons you haven't seen me sew is we are in the middle of dance competition season. It will be over in three weeks. So because of that, I go, I'm the little cheerleader and also middle of baseball season. So um, my kids are super busy. My kids come first. You don't see any sewing here and it is solely because um, crazy, never home. So, um, but one of the things I'm gonna be sewing after Quilt Market is going to be the Sew Colorful Spools block. I'm gonna turn these into those. Um, so that's gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna get caught up on Harry Potter and I'm gonna get caught up on Vintage Block Long. Lori keeps asking me when I'm gonna catch up and I'm like, I don't know. Um, Real quick, we do have a new member. Yay! Uh, Garolyn Birchwell, welcome. Confetti Cannon for Garolyn. Yay! Um, Let's see, the other thing that is new is we have had a lot of questions. We purchased the Triangles and a Roll Company and um, we, this is all gonna have new packaging soon. They're currently making all of them for us. Um, but we have a new size, it's seven inches, this is it. But what we did for you guys is a lot of you guys had asked questions about half square triangles, how to use triangle paper. So we made a cheat sheet and it's gonna tell you what your cut size is, your unfinished size and your finished size. So if you're an experienced quilter, you could use this or if you're brand new, this will kind of help you. Um, and you could just print this out totally free. Um, link in the description or on our blog also. So this is something to help all of you guys because you guys kept asking for this. So we got this ready for you guys. It will really help you. And um, so the new size is the seven inches. We have a new book coming out called Triangles on a Roll. Uh, quilts, it is amazing. We just got the cover quilt back. It is at the quilter. Gina has it, she picked it up today. It is going to be awesome and I cannot wait to show you on a future live stream probably in two weeks. I'm gonna be able to add that to the agenda you're not going to want to miss this book. It is amazing. And it's awesome because if you use triangle paper, super fast. Um, and the other thing that we did do due to popular demand is our designer mystery is pretty much almost sold out. We have a few backings and we have a few blocks. Um, I had said it was going to sell out. I didn't expect it to sell out in April because it doesn't start until June. But because it sold out, we have made a uh, fabric requirement list. So um, 
if you bought the blocks and you were unable to get the finishing kit, we have everything available for you. Link is in the description um, so that you can see that we're really trying to answer you guys' questions, um, get all the tools that you need, bring you free stuff. Um, and I did want to mention um, we have some videos out new by Melissa Mortensen of Polka Dot Chair. We have a new video on how to make a fabric basket and how to make a simple tote. So if you're looking for one of those things, just check it out on our channel. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also created a new YouTube channel called Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. If you like cross stitch, you would want to subscribe to that. That's a totally separate channel so that we can keep our cross stitch separate than our quilting. And I do hear you, the people who are like, I don't want to see cross stitching on your site. I totally understand but I can't just do this and have a new website. That's really hard, much harder than, um, much harder than just creating a new YouTube channel. So that all of that is in the works. We are listening. I hear you. We will do it as fast as we can. It will probably be nine to 12 months out because it takes a lot of time to do those things. Um, but we would love for you to follow us on Fat Core Shop Floss Tube. And we also have a FQS X Stitch also for uh, Facebook and Instagram to keep our if our social media channels to keep that separate if you're interested in that next week is quilt market which is one of the reasons um, my um, live stream is ending early today so another reason I haven't been stitching at home all of you think it's because of stitch mania and that's actually not true the reason I haven't been stitching at home is because of my kids number one and number two is if I can take one day off a week or every other week I can just power through because I can just go for you know the second I drop my kids off from school to the second I have to pick them up um, I can just power through but I have had meetings every single day from sales reps and I haven't seen all the fabric yet for market but we have meetings all the way through Monday um, and then we're gonna go to quilt market and so you will see some live videos and we're gonna do some pre-recorded videos um, we Lily <laughs> at, at market um, so you can see um, up stuff up close um, just kind of see it because I feel like if you're a quilter and you see it you're gonna know okay I really like that or I don't like that or that would really fit in my house or that does not fit my style and seeing it in person rather than a digital image always helps so we're gonna try to bring you as much as we can from quilt market most of our videos will be on Friday I will not be at schoolhouse but my team will um, in case you guys are wondering why I am not there it is because my daughter has dance and my family comes first so I am going to fly out a day early and fly home a day early because it's important to her it's important to me and that's why um, so I don't know I just feel like I'm just like talking nonstop. so now I can answer any questions you guys have um, but next week we will have um, next Wednesday on our FQS floss tube or fat corner shop floss tube we will have a pre-recorded video because I will be on a plane on Wednesday and then um, we will have some videos uh, Thursday Lily will be doing some live streams from sample spree I mean schoolhouse yes, yes. and then sat Friday and Saturday we will have some live streams and then when we get home she's just gonna dump the videos on the channel with just like a we're not gonna edit them a bunch we're just gonna drop a beginning and end just to get them on there faster for you guys um, so we're gonna bring what we think is good you know what we think that you guys are looking for um, and so that's what's gonna be available on our channel next week okay uh, we have another new YouTube member Yay, thank Chris you e. um, and Gabriel Fuentes did point out to me that I missed someone who joined right before we started the live stream Sharon McConville so welcome Sharon thanks for being a member um, also shout out to Gina tell I guess she's here right now she oh. was commenting. She's like, I'm at Fat Quarter Shop right now. Oh like, my gosh, go see if we can find the triangles on a roll video. So if she's okay. still here, we can triangles on a roll video. We can show the quilt before it's quilted yes. if she's still here. Yes, um, I think she is. Because she's gonna quilt it, and so I would love. For, it's the cover quilt. Um, and our triangles on a roll book. I can go into it more in detail. Um, we showed it when it first came out, just the book cover. But I like to really show you when you can see it. Um, you know, seeing a piece of paper. I don't know that wouldn't entice me so I, I do want to show you when we have things further along that kind of thing 
Okay, let me go down to the questions. Oh, these are old. Okay, um, funny question from Linda Gillespie. Do you sleep with headphones on to drown out hubby noise? I do. Well, yeah, that's how it started. I started because Kevin snores and he is super skinny, which is weird, but he has sleep apnea, so he has to sleep with that, but a lot of times he doesn't. Um, thanks. So um, that's why I started doing it. And also, um, I like to listen to podcasts and it just puts me to sleep. Um, but yes, and if I don't have them, like I'm almost like, oh, I can't function. Um, okay, so this is the cover that is on our triangles on a roll quilt book. It is coming out later in the year, I believe August. And this is um, Sugar Creek by Corey Yoder. And basically for the cover of the book, we just pick the quilt that we, the design that we like the best and the fabric that we like the best. And um, this is going to Gina today to quilt for us. And then we'll have beautiful photography on the front. Um, also, shout out to Jennifer Foster who just gave us a super chat. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. That's always very appreciated. Yes, yeah, so I love this quilt. So I'm going to hand it back so that we can get it so, so that Gina doesn't have to wait for me to go home. Um, but yes, um, I don't know for sleeping, but I love podcasts. Um, I don't know. I just listen to them and then I, w I wake up a lot. I will say like at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning every night I wake up. Um, and so I have a really hard time falling back asleep. So if I have my headphones on, it'll help me go back to sleep. And Piggy snores too, so um, that doesn't help. And Emma also sleeps in the bed. So we got a lot of stuff going on in our bedroom. Don't send me an email about how my 12-year-old daughter sleeps in my bed. I already know. I already had a huge fight with several people in my family over it. I got it, I know. It shouldn't happen, but she sleeps in our bed because she's scared, so there you go. Okay, uh, a side note, my dog barks at things in his sleep. Like he'll get oh, mad no. and start growling at the other dog, but he's asleep. No, I would be like, get out. I would, <laughs> her dogs are bad. Her <laughs> dogs tear up her stuff. They do. They're bad, but Piggy's bad too. I did find a new place to take Piggy by my house um, because I was not going to take him back to PetSmart, but I did find a new place, so I'm hoping that works out. Question from Sue Cleek, how do you access the free settings? When I go to the blog, I get the blocks, but not the settings for Threadology. Anyone? Anyone? Think that the setting um, comes out at the very end in June. Oh, okay. And it's gonna be all the blocks put together. And if you bought the kit, which is now sold out, it would have been in the kit, but it's coming out in June sometime. Oh, I think she means the um, the number four setting we got for reaching our goal. Kate will have to answer Kate it with the answer. answer. You have that answer? Yeah. What is it? So uh, you go to the blog, the Threadology Fabric Requirement post, and you scroll all the way to the bottom, and all the settings are updated there. Oh, there so you go. At the bottom. Scroll to the bottom, guys. Of the Fabric Requirements post. Of the post. Fabric Requirements yes. post. Okay. Um, from Barb Sutterdahl, did you draw from a hat to decide who got what color, and the two color blocks all are pretty? I have no idea what they did. Oh. Um, but we picked... Uh, we picked. I don't know, I think people picked. I did denim, so I got to pick first, but I don't know. It's funny, because Denise says she doesn't like pink and her blocks are pink, and she usually wears pink, so I don't know. Yeah. For no, Christmas, I'm gonna buy her like a pink ornament. Yeah, sometimes it, it's, it was a bit of a battle. Like, I think I picked something different at first, and then the one I wanted got picked before me, so then I got, I picked green. Yes, we got to pick. Uh, Maria C says, do you have tutorials for everything you're showing? So um, that's kind of a hard question. Um, for the uh, bread and for the cream and sugar, we have a book that has great instructions. For the Rocket Star, we have a video. For Designer Mystery, that is a future program. There's no tutorials on that. Um, so some stuff. Some of it. Some, not all. Uh, Linda Clark says, "Will you be completing the blockheads too when things settle down for you?" Yeah, it is at the very end of my list, though, um, because, yeah, I'm so behind on Harry Potter. Oh, my gosh. Um, and my kids don't forget. They're like, where's the next block? Like, so, um, so yeah, if, but if I had a day, like, just one day off, which is not going to happen until I get back from Quilt Market, I totally, all I have to do is I could knock out all of the spool blocks, all of the Harry Potter, 
all of the vintage block along all in one day. And then it would probably take me a day to finish the uh, blockheads. The blockheads is actually all put together. So all I have to do is finish a couple blocks, sew them in, it really, that would probably take me a day. So yes, anything that I start, I either finish or auction off or something. I don't know, but I will finish it. I just have to, um, I just have to have time. Uh, Lisa Reiser says, Summer Moon, will Carrie Nelson have tutorial videos? So we have videos for every block, but it's more like tips and tricks, not so much like a tutorial how we typically do. Kind of because they're harder blocks, so she might say like, this is a tool that I use to help this. Mm -hmm. um, it's for a more experienced quilter, but guys, like I am seeing all kinds of blocks out there that y'all are doing in different fabrics and they're awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome, and like, I'm seeing some really nice points that I'm like, whoa, like little tiny, tiny blocks and y'all have your points perfect. So um, I know uh, y'all can do it. Uh, and on Summer Moon, when does it ship? Kate will answer. Kate will answer. Uh, and then, oh, Maria, she was saying, please tell me how I can become a member. You can answer, Lily. Okay. <laughs> um, so when you go to our YouTube channel, next to the subscribe button, there is a join button. And if you hit that join button, um, it tells you everything it is. Uh, it, it's a paid membership for $4.99 a month. Um, we try to give you at least two things every month, be it a coupon or a free pattern or an ask me anything kind of exclusive live stream with Kimberly. Um, you know, especially on these live streams, we don't get to every single question. And on those, it's like, if you're a member, like you're guaranteed your question will be answered. Um, and then anything we think of along the way that like we've done exclusive polls in the past, we've shared silly pictures of behind the scenes stuff. Um, yeah, and then if you're not seeing it, we have a video on how you can join if you're like on an Apple device and the button's just not there for you. Yeah. Confetti Canada for members. Yay! Um, and Linda Gillespie says, I have a creepy podcast for you, Dr. Death. She's yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't like it. I oh, started okay. it. I think I didn't like the host. I swear I've listened to everything. Today I listened to, on the way in, I listened to a TED talk about how to be creative and how if you throw a wrench in things, it can sometimes make you more creative. Um, so I listen to all kinds of stuff. I don't listen to just true crime. Um, but yeah, I um, like to be motivated. I was like, I need to be motivated today. But yeah, Dr. Death was very disturbing. Okay. Uh, another shout out. We got a super chat from Dee Flackular. Thank uh, you. She says, hi, Kimberly. This is my first live chat and I'm loving it. Thank so, you. Thank you, Dee. Um, Jan Davis says, can I start Harry Potter now? Yes. Great. So um, there is, okay, it's kellyfanandquilts.com or you can just Google Seriously, I think I need stitches and she gives you a free tutorial every Saturday and they are bigger blocks I can't remember if they're 18 or 20, but they're they're larger blocks. They use uh, Bella solids um, Of course you could use any solid you want, but it's a free tutorial. Some people are using prints um, And I've got like the per first four or five done and then the rest I just have printed out ready to go so that when I get back in the sewing room I can just tackle it um, But I just I'm never home um, like I literally Saturday will get up, I will probably leave the house at eight, probably get home at eight. No joke. Su Sunday's Mother's Day, I will leave the house at 10 and I will probably get home at 10. Um, so, uh, I'm just like, if I, like cross stitch, people are saying, oh, you're doing cross stitch more than quilting. It's not that. It's that it's like the busy season for my kids, and if I'm not home, you can have a sewing machine in your car. You can have cross stitch in your car. Um, but my kids are just super, um, super, like, into stuff. So, I just haven't been home. I haven't had a day off. And the reason I haven't had a day off is because I have sales reps here. Like, you can ask Lily, like, all day, every day. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Diana Williams says, can you create the ability to make multiple wish lists on your website or is that something that's too hard or costly to do? I think right now we only have the ability to do one. Oh, okay. 
Um, Gwenadotti says, if we order one of the gift cards for Mother's Day, what is the deadline for using it? I want mom to have plenty of time to use it. There's no deadline to use it. And the, okay, so for the, for the Mother's Day, I think I might have forgot to go over that. Um, we have right now, if you order a $50 gift certificate, $50 or more, you get $10 off. You can use it one time. You can buy one gift certificate. Um, and uh, that's our Mother's Day gift to you, but there's no limit on when to use it. It does have to be an emailed gift certificate and not physically mailed. Um, so that offer is good from now until Sunday. And so that's a great deal. We do that um, almost every year. Okay. Uh, Debbie Berry says, are there going to be more tutorials using Lori Holt's wool bundles? Um, if she comes in films, uh, we could do that. Um, I don't have anything on the schedule right now and I don't use wool. So, um, I do know that we have had several tutorials that, um, Joanna Figueroa did for us from Fig Tree and she had some tips on working with wool. So you could go back to our channel and look at those. Um, and that would be helpful or, um, but I don't have anything in the works right now. I do know she's going to, I think she's planning on doing some free stuff on her blog um, when she wraps up some other stuff. Uh, Judy Gibbons says, how do I find your blog? Um, it's called, if you're on our website and you look, if you're on fatquartershop.com and you look at the top right, there's a little thing that says blog, or you can Google the Jolly Jabber, because that's what it's called. It's also in the links in the description box. Um, and Chris Eckhart says, when will the new so sampler, so sampler quilt be displayed? I think if the goodness grows. I mean, I could get it. We could get it and I could show it to you right now. But I can only show you, yeah. So we'll, we'll go grab it. I can only show you the top corner. Um, a lot of you guys want to see the whole quilt and we don't show that. We never show that because that's a mystery throughout the year. It's like a gift. It's like a bonus thing that you get. So I could show you the, um, like the first block, because if you remember, you've already gotten that block. Um, it's really pretty. I will say it was very easy. Um, I had some questions on triangle paper and you don't need any triangle paper. It's very beginner. I mean, there might be one or two triangles, but it's not worth buying a triangle paper for it. Um, very easy. I was able to finish that maybe two days. Um, it was very easy to finish. And then Deborah, who works here was so wonderful to do my binding because I just could never get the binding done. Okay. Kayleen Rich says, I missed the Thrology announcement. I think a few people tuned in kind of late. So for Thrology, we raised our $20,000. So that means that we're going to have over $40,000 to make a wish because we're going to donate 10,000, Kevin and I, and then also um, Moda is going to donate 10,000. So this is our fourth free pattern to go with that, and it's a table runner. And inside of it, these little pink blocks, there's six inch, there's four six inch blocks, one 12 inch block. And you could put any of the Threadology blocks in here to display it, or you could use uh, maybe some of Lori Holt six inch or 12 inch blocks. Here's the first one. This is the first one? Yeah. So this is So Sampler, and this is our first block that has come out. And the rest is behind. It's all there, guys. <laughs> um, I just can't show you um, because it's a mystery. It's um, it's really pretty. Um, the quilting looks amazing. Gina Tell did this for me, and it's my favorite quilting pattern. It's a rose that just kind of goes and goes and goes, and I love it. Um, and I know a few people are asking about the designer mystery quilt. Did we show the corner of that? Yeah, I can show a little bit more of it. Let me kind of. So I can kind of show you. This is going to be part of the finishing and this is one of the blocks. And um, on the outside uses the seven inch triangle paper. So um, this makes this really easy to throw these triangles together really quick. 
Um, and I did sew this. Um, so even though I feel like I don't do a lot, I really do do a lot. Um, I'm feeling kind of guilty for not being in my sewing room the last month, but. Okay, uh, Mary Erickson says, what is a super chat? Because we keep shouting out people for super chats. Lily, you answer. <laughs> okay, I'm just seeing if you want to answer. Um, super chat is, uh, we call it the virtual tip jar on YouTube. Um, it's, that's what it is. Um, you can pay a certain amount and your name gets highlighted and anything you want to say, I will make sure um, to say it on the live stream. Uh, like I said, a lot of these comments come in really fast, so I might miss a few questions or a few if you want to say something, can really like, I love your work, or something like that, then I can definitely let her know if you super chat it. Um, and that's through YouTube only. If you're on Facebook, uh, that that's not a thing there. It's only on YouTube. And we really just use all that money to buy equipment. Like, we have got lights everywhere. We've got cameras. We upgrade our cameras like crazy. We buy all of our equipment. We don't rent anything. It gets really expensive. And so it's just a way to, like, help us with our equipment but you know in no way do you have to do any of that you don't have to be a member you don't have to do anything all this is like free it just helps us out um that's it yeah yeah we will always continue to provide free content yes um lisa reiser says did you enjoy your trip to utah i love the wasage front mountains yeah, it was awesome. I will say, um, I really had jet lag this time. Um, we, it was just, we were so tired. I don't know if it was just like the altitude, but I was overly tired where it was not normal. And then I'll tell you about our trip home. So Lily's bad luck, <laughs> or I'm bad luck. One of us is bad luck because we went, we went to Vegas and we couldn't get home. And we had to, like, we didn't get home for like 24 hours from when we were supposed to get home. Yeah. So then we get, we're in um, Utah and we're coming home and you know, it's been raining here and rain, like crazy rain. Um, like one, there's only two entrances to my neighborhood and one was flooded. Like it's been crazy. So we're flying home on Friday and we get over Austin and we're circling. And I can kind of tell we're circling cause you keep seeing the same field. And I'm like, okay, the weather. So they came on and, and I will say Delta was great. Delta was great. Um, no complaints. This is all just funny. So they're circling and they're like, oh, we gotta land in San Antonio because the rain's too hard. So we land in San Antonio and they say, okay, we're gonna give you 15 minutes update. And then they come on and they're like, okay, we can leave in two hours. And I'm like, oh my gosh, let me get my cross stitch out. So like, you can see that like my stitch mania, I got a ton of stuff done because I couldn't get out. Like, I mean, I couldn't go anywhere. And then, and then, um, okay, I'm gonna be totally crazy here and be funny. There's a dog on the plane. The dog can get off and the dog can go pee. But what about me? Like, I want to get off. I want to get food. They wouldn't so let us off the plane. They wouldn't let us off the plane, which I mean, I guess I get. But I mean, we were on that plane seven and a half hours total. and total. And that's a lot to sit and be crammed to not, um, like, I will not go to the bathroom on a plane. Um, so I'm just like, okay, I can't eat. There's like hardly any food. They had like Cheez-Its or something. Like they ran out of food. It was just not, um, so we got home at 12.30. So, but yeah, it was, I, I love Salt Lake City. It's super clean. It's super like pretty. I will say it's really cold. One day on the photo shoot, we were doing stuff and I was like, Lori, I can't, I have to go to the car because I can't do this anymore. I'm too cold. And she was like, just go in the house. So we like, I went in her like mother-in-law's house and just chilled out because I was like, I, I'm gonna, I didn't bring like a, I brought a jacket, but not like a real jacket. And we should have brought our, all of us should have brought real jackets because we were all freezing. One night it was like 33 degrees and we were like, what are we doing? We totally didn't plan. We did nothing. But yeah, so I'm hoping when we go to Quilt Market that I get there and I get home and there's no delays. We're not because, traveling together. So yeah, we're not. <laughs> we're not. Yeah. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, um, question from Kat Dodd. She says, why do the links below the video not show up when I watch on my smart Roku TV, but do on my phone or computer? I prefer to watch on my smart TV so I can see Kimberly smile in projects. Um, my best guess is that it's because it's a TV. You know, on a TV, you can't really go into an internet browser, so it's not gonna show you the links. Um, yeah, but at the end of the video, you could just go to YouTube and yeah. then go to the description box. Yeah, they're always um, going to be there. Um, they don't leave. Yeah, exactly. So if you if you're like watching on your TV, 
and you like see something you want to go click the link on, um, you can just do it on your phone real quick. Um, that's my best advice to you. And then also, um, like if we miss a link or something, or if I just go off on a tangent and talk about something that, that like maybe we didn't have the link for or something, we'll go back and add it. Okay. Uh, Marilyn Johnson says, is it still possible to get on the waiting list for So Sampler? Yeah, you can. Um, the waiting list, um, we have cleared up a lot of people off that waiting list in the last month, a lot. Um, so you can get at the end of the waiting list and we, every every week, we, are, we send emails and um, spots are opening up. Uh, Gabriel Fuentes says, shout out to Susan and customer service. She helped me get my tracking numbers because I haven't been getting them lately and she was very helpful. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, we will let her know. She will, I'm sure she will watch, but yes, we will let her know. Um, and Babette on YouTube says, when will Vintage Christmas Cool Kits be back in stock? Um, I'm expecting uh, within the next month. We are only short one SKU. Uh, Candy Kerr says, can we still make donations to make a wish? Yes, oh my gosh, yes. That link will be open and our first wish we're granting in June. I think the first three we have, um, the make a wish comes to us with different children and just says, would you like to grant their wish? And we have said yes to all that we have been presented. And so basically what happens at that point is uh, we just tell them wherever the family's comfortable doing the wish, because they sometimes say, do you want to do it at your offices or do you want to do it at their house? Um, like our last wish was granted at a little girl's house. She's blind from cancer. And so she, um, she got a place skate built for her. So I took her, I took my kids, it was really great. And the great thing about that one, I don't want to say great, that sounds wrong, but one of Kevin's very best friends from high school's daughter at the time was dying of brain cancer. So we immediately tried to grant her wish because we already had the money built up from last year and uh, we weren't able to grant it because she passed away. But one of the great things was when we granted this little girl's wish, the, the nurse came and it was the same nurse from Kevin's daughter's friend and knew her and that was very, um, I don't know, touching and um, so in a way, you know, I mean, I mean, you're giving back and it's real and it's real people and it's real, you're donated as something real, you're not, you're not just donating. Mm -hmm. Makes a difference. Yeah. Um, also, uh, new member, Marcy Heron, welcome Marcy. Thank you. And let's see. Oh, there we go. Deanna Payne says, do you sell the sew sampler pattern to everyone after the membership is done? Never. And the reason we don't do that is because that's the whole thing about sew sampler. Um, Wait, but goodness, we don't do goodness grows? Goodness grows, okay. we do. So like the quilt that is the main quilt, we do. That is the only thing, but if there's like, if you're in the box and there's just a quilt that goes with that fabric, we don't sell those later. And Mary Ann Bridal says, do I need to buy the triangle paper for the mystery quilt or is it included in the kit? It's included in the kit. And we had, we made it specially for that and thought, well, if people like it, we, we don't ever want to like not have it available separately because if you run out and you want more or something, and she actually just commented, she said, I misspoke, I meant designer mystery. Can you buy it afterwards? Designer mystery, yes, at the end of the year. So, so okay, designer mystery 2018 is ending in June. So, or May, June, something like that. Like two or three weeks after we will sell the patterns. So this 2019 pattern will come out in 2020 at the very end. And we still sell patterns from like 2013 and 2012. Because um, they're always really nice sampler-ish patterns or, um, you know, they're 12 inch blocks. You could mix them with Lori Holt's books that have 12 inch blocks. I mean, 12 inch blocks in the Threadology. You can always, you know, put them with something that's 12 inches. That's really standard size. Okay, I'm just gonna take a couple more comments here. Um, Janet Sossing says, you have so many projects going on that I can't keep them straight. Is there one place on the website that I can see all the projects and the dates? 
So on our blog, we try to just post kind of what's going on on the live stream. I try to give updates of everything that's going on, stuff I'm doing, stuff my staff is doing, just general stuff we're doing. Um, I would say subscribe to our blog, follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, but there's not like one place that would never, we would never be able to keep up. Like we can, yeah, we have a lot going on. And there, you know, we do try to give you lots of free stuff, lots of free things so that, you know, you're not always just buying something. We want you to feel like we love you, you're our customers, we appreciate you. I mean, all my employees know, like without customers, we all have no jobs. I have no job. So like, we're always trying to give back um, in some way to you guys. Okay, and we have another new YouTube member, Thank Vicky you. Robles. Welcome, Vicky. Thank you. Okay, and then the last comment I got here for you um, is actually from Teresa. There was a conversation happening in the comments when we were talking about being stuck on the plane. I guess you can only be stuck on a plane for, she says three hours maximum and then you can complain to the airline because it's against the law to, for them right. to not let you off the plane. Right, so we were like right at that three hour mark sitting on the thing. Um, but also the only thing that kind of worried me was when they came on the intercom and they said, so this Delta, um, what do they call it? Um, staff or whatever they call themselves. They had a name for a special name. Yeah. What was it? Road crew or something. The, our yeah, crew, crew yeah. like our Delta crew is available for two hours and 45 more minutes. And I thought, oh no, no, no. Because I'm thinking, what are we going to do? It's storming. What are we going to do? Get in a car, cost us a fortune, go all the way home. How, where's my luggage going to be? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, um, that was the only thing that kind of freaked me out. But um, yeah, I mean, it was fine. They handled it well. Mm -hmm. I really just needed to get home because Emma had... Um, a little thing the next day that I needed to be at so and Christopher had baseball but that was all canceled and obviously we knew it was gonna be canceled because of the rain so I didn't have to worry about his stuff but um, and then real quick we got a super chat from Mary Erickson right now thank, thank you, Mary. you. Um, and then several people are saying you need an assistant I have one she she's, has one <laughs> she's behind the camera and she likes to be behind the camera you know, like, and wait, no. okay. Okay. she's she good behind wait. the camera she doesn't like but yes um, Look, and she has beautiful hands, hint, hint. Yeah, that's your hint. Yeah, and it's really, um, I mean, I've been doing this 16 years, and she's so awesome. I'm so glad I have her. I wish I could have had her 16 years ago. Um, but it helps me with everything because, oh, my gosh. Like, I work, y'all, I work a lot. Like, I work 60 hours a week every week. Like, there's no doubt I work a lot. I can get it done. So um, Kevin hired someone a couple, like, two years ago, and I'm like, huh? But I had to find, like, the right person but she set all this up and Gabby helped her and then like yeah like she knows yeah and she thinks like me so we're good yes okay okay so awesome so you guys have a wonderful Mother's Day um, wonderful weekend we will see you next week we're gonna have a lot of stuff at market I'm gonna be walking around different booths um, the Moda booth last time um, I felt like my video wasn't that great uh, so I'm going to try to do a better job for you guys this time. It's kind of, last market was really busy, and so I could barely, like, get around the motor booth. So I am going to try to do, I feel bad about last time, not giving you the best video. So this time I'm going to try to do a better job. Um, but I think that you're going to be super excited about the stuff you see at market. I'm seeing lots of previews, um, especially from motor designers. There's a lot of awesome stuff out there I'm seeing on there. So... I can't wait to be there and see it, um, but y'all have a great weekend. Thank you for all your support, and we are going to keep continuing on our end to do lots of free stuff. We have an awesome thing already planned for July, totally free. You're going to love it. And happy Mother's Day. Yay.